What's going on guys and welcome to today's video. We have some Subaru content for you guys today, but not on this girl. It's going to be on this girl. So we're going to be installing these hood pins I got on eBay. Um, I don't remember exactly how I acquired these, but um, basically if I remember correctly, I had to spend a certain amount and these were cheap enough to where I could just add it to the cart to get to the amount. I'll get into why I'm going to be installing those in a second, but first we need to take this one out and bring the other one in. And the keys for the other one are right over here, the trusty old key. I'm going to need this and I always need to jump it, so I'm going to need this. Gotta love having AC. So this is actually the first time I have this car in the garage ever in my months of ownership. Pretty cool. All right, but before we get into today's video, I wanted to unbox this box that I've been waiting for for over three months. Um, it's been here in the US for quite a while now, but it had been sitting in customs for forever. At least that's what it seemed like to me. So. Very excited to finally get this. Now let's open it and see what's inside. It's kind of hard doing this with one hand, but I got it done. All right, here we go. Come on, I said here we go. All right, here we go for real this time. Here it is. I got a brand new OEM airbag delete. And this will be going on the blue one. Um, yeah, it's brand new OEM for left hand drive. So they're a little harder to come by compared to the right hand drive ones. But yeah, I got the left hand drive brand new OEM. So I'm super stoked. Uh, install video on this coming real soon. All right guys, so basically, we're installing those hood pins because every time I want to open the hood, I have to take this grill out, which I haven't even really put it in like that anyways. And then I have to pry up on the hood and then the latch won't move because it's stuck. I have to, it has to come down a little bit and then it'll move and then I can continue prying and then it'll finally come loose. I don't know what the issue is. I've already greased this up. Um, I made sure that was in the right spot. Um, I don't know. Everything lines up perfectly as well, so I have no idea what it could be. So we're gonna get rid of the latch, the cable, and this all together, and we're just gonna install some hood pins and get rid of that problem. So I've never done hood pins on a car, but I've seen it done a couple times. So I think I got it down and I know what to do. So fingers crossed we do it right. So I got this thing pretty much opened up. So basically we're going to be drilling holes for these rods right here. And these will come out through the hood and these will go on top of the hood and these go riveted on. So we're going to be opening the hole for this first and then we're going to find the perfect spot on the hood and we'll be drilling the hood as well. And you always want to keep them equally spaced out from the edges. So oftentimes a lot of cars will have a bunch of holes already drilled and people just use those, but um, we're not that lucky on these cars, but we do have these little um, indentations here. So that's where I'm going to be drilling. So I'll drill out a hole for this uh, wide enough to get these rods in I'll screw them on and then we'll go from there so we're gonna start by using this center punch over here and 
now we will start a pilot hole. And you always want to make sure there's nothing underneath the hole you're going to be uh, making because sometimes like they'll have like a condenser or maybe even the radiator tucked under there so just make sure it's a straight shot so you don't damage anything. And now that that's done, um, a lot of people like to step up to the last size that they need but anybody got time for that around here so we are just going to send it. bigger actually so I guess we are following the rules all right so this one should do it let's try it out there we go all right so basically what you want to do now is you want to stick this in here with the washer up there and then from the bottom you want to go with this nut and tighten everything down so you have to fit your fingers back there but luckily for us, we have this quick release grill. So that should be no problem at all. By the way, before you go any further, um, you wanna put a piece of tape over the hole and then just drill over it again. And basically go over it with some paint. That way, uh, you don't have exposed metal and nothing starts to rust. I went a little overboard, so I have to do some cleanup. All right, so now that you have your rod all tightened there, this is where the fun starts. So you're gonna grab a tube of any toothpaste and then you're gonna put a dab right at the top. There we go. All right, so now that you have that, what you're gonna do is you're gonna close the hood and that dab of uh, toothpaste is gonna make a mark somewhere around here and then you'll know where you have to drill. So as you can see, it left a mark right there. So now we know that's where we have to drill our hole. Holy crap, guys. That's so weird. Although I got this car for only 150 bucks, I still think it feels so weird just drilling a hole through your hood. It's just, I don't know, it doesn't feel right, but hopefully it looks good. All right guys, let's see how we did. almost through I think it just needs to be a little bit bigger so that's what we'll do all right got them both on let's see how we did yes sir they are both in there now the holes can be slightly bigger because the cap that goes over them will cover all of that so be fine all right so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take 
the hood latch off both on the car and on the hood so it can come down easily now. So we gotta remove two 12s here. And then we have three 12s here. Alright, now we have to, we gotta pop the cable out of here, should just pop out. Keyword should, it's being stubborn. Huh. Maybe it needs a little persuasion. Jeez, this thing does not want to come out. There we go. All right, so. Popped it out of there. Now we just gotta go behind this little hook. And she's out. Now she should close better. Oh yeah, straight through. Off, on, off, on. So now I just gotta do a little bit of tweaking and I have to spray some spray paint on these holes as well so that they don't start rusting and then we just got to put the tops on and we are good so this kit actually brought rivets and screws so you can put it on either way um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and put screws in though because if I ever want to remove them it'll be a lot easier doing it that way all right guys and there we have it so what I did to line them up as best as I could was I use a tape measure and then just measure to this line right here. So I did that on both sides so they can look pretty symmetrical. And now the only thing left to do is to take out the latch. So we're gonna go ahead and take this off real quick. Um, I think it's just two tens. Cable out, latches out, and we are good to go. All right, guys, so that's going to do it for this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to the channel because we got a lot more work coming for this one. And we have the airbag delete on the blue one coming up real soon. So you don't want to miss out on that. So definitely hit that subscribe button real quick. And I will see you on the next one. As always, keep moving forward and stay on the gas.